Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hey, Todd here with Big Beard Battery, and I want to go ahead and answer some of your questions for the tech tip. Now, someone uh, a while back had asked a question when I was talking about the DC to DC charger. Meet Robot. Kind of cool. Meet Robot, which makes you a human. I like that. Meet Robot actually says this. Uh, the alternator in my truck charges my batteries as I drive. Isn't that not a DC to DC charging? Well, here's the difference between just a standard seven pin connector where you connect uh, the umbilical cord to your truck, right? It is DC to DC charging as you have, but it's unregulated, right? Your alternator can push whatever it has left outside the circuit itself, right? And if the alternator can't increase the voltage up because it's under a heavy load, you got your dash AC on and you're really pulling as much power that you can from the truck, we may see a slight voltage sag. It all depends on the type of alternator. Having a DC to DC charger helps do a couple things. It helps regulate the power coming in, but it will also step up the voltage need be coming in because I have uh, whatever the voltage is coming from the alternator and of course going out to the lithium and lithium likes a set voltage, whatever you set it at, whether it's going to be 14.2 or 14.4. I would recommend 14.2 as you're going down the road because as you're charging, if it is going to be a kind of a faster charge, I don't want to fast charge the batteries all the way up to full, get it close to full, and then let absorption take over. So thanks, Meet, meet Robot. Here's another one. Samuel Tucker, Samuel L. Jackson Tucker says, um, oh, 5802. What about voltage uh, of a LifePo when you go to store it? Full charge or 50%? So what he's saying is, hey, look, it's time. Winter's coming up. I've got these lithium batteries inside. They're how do we store them and what voltage do we set them? Actually, you want to set them about 12.8. Have you ever noticed that when you buy a battery, lithium battery, it all actually says the nominal voltage is 12.8, right? That's about 3.2 volts per cell, right? 3.2 volts per cell is really where we want these batteries to sit. One, they have a charge, but two, they're not, they're not charged to the full capacity. When cells are charged to the full capacity, they begin to really push on the outside uh, of each cell. We don't want that. We don't want stored in that in that position, so 12.8 volts. That typically puts it between maybe 30% and 40%, maybe even 15%. Literally just 12.8 volts, that's what you're looking for. So uh, thank you, Samuel L. Jackson. There was another one here that says, oh, here we go. Uh, this is from D-Man, uh, 3324. I have a 200 watt panel on my camper. Uh, this is the first year I'll be putting it under a cover. What do I need to do, if anything, uh, to the solar panel or with the entire system? All right, so he's going to store the RV. It's under cover, so the solar panel isn't going to provide a charge. Okay? If, you're, if the RV is going to be in a location where you're not having to winterize it or anything else, in other words, super cold, right, you can leave, uh, just turn the battery off, turn the system off. The question is, is do you need the 12 volts in some capacity to run the RV. If it's undercover and you're not going to run anything, so if you turn the battery off or the disconnect off. Lithium, typically, drain it down to 12.8. Lithium can store for up to six months without a charge. At six months, it needs to charge again, right? Now, let's say there's certain things inside that you need to continue to run. Can you take the RV and plug it into a 15 amp outlet? If so, just simply plug it into a 15 amp outlet. Now the consideration is if it gets really cold. If it gets cold, what we don't want to do is charge the battery up. If it's acceptable for you to disconnect the battery and leave the charger on just to run the nominal 12 volt stuff that you may have, fine. Or if you're okay with completely turning off the system, unplug it, disconnect the battery, and you can store it there. Stored, cold temperature, just fine with the lithium battery. There's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to bigbeardbattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started.